Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Uh, today's video, well, it may not <laughs> go up today, but this is the start of it, will be all about uh, the new drone laws in Thailand and uh, the process of getting uh, the insurance and the registration or drone aircraft license from the Thailand Civil Aviation Authority. So um, I've used an agent, I've done some research and uh, I didn't particularly want to have to travel to go into the uh, relative offices myself, uh, which is what you have to do, you can't do it by post or online, but uh, an agent with the power of attorney can do that. But there's a lot of stuff that you have to send them which includes like seven photos of your drone, including a photo of the um, serial number of the drone. Uh, you've got to fill out quite a fair bit of information in regards to uh, the actual drone, as well as your own personal data. Uh, you know, uh, but in particular, you have to um, uh, fill in data about the uh, frequency that the drone operates on with the remote control which uh, hooks up to your iPhone of course uh, and you have to send in information about the weight of the drone the distance it can fly and blah 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 a lot of stuff so we'll go through that um, and doing this video of course my last video of course was pretty shitty it was just done out of boredom really nothing no creative uh, fluids at all but uh, it was just you know a morning into arm with something to do and uh, yeah I put it out there anyway so you got to take the bad with the good and the good with the bad but anyway this video I'm hoping will be better I hope you can bear with me it may be a little bit longer because uh, there's a lot of information to cover uh, and I'm going to try a new technique that I haven't yet used. I've had a bit of a practice this morning, but uh, later on I'll get into it and show you via screen recording on the computer uh, just exactly what documentation I had to fill in, what photos I had to send in, uh, the relative laws concerning flying drones in Thailand, the penalties for doing it without having the license or the uh, registration insurance. Uh, it's a third party insurance, much like you take out on, on a car or a bike. Uh, <clears throat> the penalties are pretty hefty. I'm not too concerned about it. It was just a case of, well, you never know. You've got to be uh, unlucky to be uh, caught flying a drone in Thailand with uh, the police because the police barely know the traffic rules and any other law in Thailand. They know the very basics and that's about it and I doubt very much that any of them would know the relative laws uh, regarding flying drones and taking photos in, th in Thailand. Now with a drone in Thailand anything uh, over uh, 2.5 kilos uh, there are special laws and up to 2.5 kilos uh, you still must register and get the insurance as well unless your drone is under a certain weight and does not have a camera well of course you know the Mavic Mini which is what I use and uh, is uh, for all primary purposes for shooting video and photography so yes it's got a camera so it has to be registered okay so uh, we'll get into that a bit later on we'll go through all the stuff that you've got to send in I'll show you the documentation I'll uh, put information uh, in the uh, video information under the video on YouTube with links to the agent I used they charged me a thousand baht, which is about 35, 40 bucks at the moment. So not too much. And then they do everything. I've already got the insurance back. It can take some time to get the licensing back from the Civil Aviation Authority uh, because they have a bit of a backlog at times. And uh, yeah, so 
that, that's what this video is going to be about. So if you fly a drone anywhere in the world, I guess uh, the uh, laws would be something similar. Although in Thailand, you limited the flying a drone uh, to 90 meters from ground level. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where you're standing, not sea level. So uh, yeah, uh, other places you can have unlimited height in certain areas, in unrestricted areas. Uh, in some places you can uh, have uh, limits, but I think most of them are above 90 metres. So there's also a law in Thailand where you can't fly a, a drone within a certain distance uh, in relation to people or buildings or traffic and some such. So we'll go through that. I'll try to get all that information into the video as quickly as I possibly can. Now this intro has taken up to five minutes already so obviously it's going to be a longish video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's informative and gives you a fair idea about what you're going to have to do uh, in Thailand or in uh, other countries around the world. It's going to be similar. You, uh, although in some countries you do not have to register or license a drone that's under 250 grams, which the uh, Mavic Mini, the first Mavic Mini, uh, is not. The Mavic Mini was specifically designed to be 249 grams for that specific reason. Okay, so uh, if I have time, I'll throw some drone shots in as well. But uh, this is mainly uh, my first attempt at making uh, a fairly informative uh, video. And I know that uh, quite a few of the, drone, uh, of the Thailand vloggers have drones. I don't know if they're bothering uh, registering or uh, getting the insurance, but I'm going to do it because, uh, you know, I live not too far from an airport, so there may be someone around who spots me and does know the laws, and the, the penalties are pretty hefty. So um, at the moment, it's debatable. It's uh, The law is a little bit ambiguous if, uh, about uh, the broadcasting frequency and registering with that particular authority. At the moment, no one's sure with uh, my size drone, and I doubt very much I'd have to register it because it runs 2.5 gigahertz to 5.8 gigahertz, which is the same as a modem. So that's not gonna interfere with anything. I mean, there's 10 billion modems around Thailand on 2.5 to 5.8 gigahertz frequency. So uh, I think then you'd have to start registering modems with that particular authority as well. So anyway, we'll get on with it. I'm going to start making the video now and doing the uh, screen recordings. Bear with me. It might take me a couple of days to get this out. So hope you enjoy it. I hope it's informative. And uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share the videos, and please comment. I really, really enjoy reading the comments. I don't filter the comments. I don't have enough subscribers yet. And of course, I'm not that big a vlogger yet to have people trolling me. So I don't have any troll videos, although I do get some spam in there, but I get rid of that pretty quickly. Okay, so uh, enjoy the video. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share it around to your friends. Uh, you know, you can hit the subscribe button uh, on the bottom of the video, and uh, under the video, there's a share uh, button that you can share the video and get a link to share with your friends. Uh, there's also a um, bell that you can hit to get notifications when new videos come out. None of this costs anything but a few seconds of your time. It really helps me. I really want to grow the channel. Uh, and uh, I can't do that without you guys. So uh, thanks very much for watching and please enjoy. Ciao for now.
Okay, you can see here, I've done a Google search and this is one of the particular sites I found. There are quite a few. There's a fair bit of information about drone regulations. Uh, you can see uh, Thailand drone regulations. Uh, there's information there which I'll put under the uh, video information, an email and a phone number to get in touch with the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand. Uh, you can get shots like this with the drone, of course, they enhance your videos. Okay, uh, now general rules for flying a drone in Thailand. You can see based on our research and interpretation of the laws. Here are the most important rules to know flying a drone in Thailand. All drones must be registered if they, one, have a camera and or, that should read, two, weigh two kilograms, 4.4 pounds or more. And it has a link in that, uh, to uh, this link here. You click register here and it'll take you to the registration if you want to do it yourself. Drones weighing more than 25 kilos must be registered with the Minister of Transport. Drone pilots must maintain a visual line of sight with their drone at all times. No one does that. Drones must not be flown close to manned aircraft. So if you go to this site, you'll, you'll see all this information. Okay. Uh, here's some uh, drone footage, obviously, that's been uh, uh, filmed in Thailand. Uh, I don't know if the music is uh, copyright or whatever, but um, I'm not going to play it right through. So, okay, so that's that particular site. Now, through uh, Facebook, I got in contact with these people. Drone Insurance and Cat Application Forms. This is uh, Drone Tie Insure. Uh, you can see there's their email. Uh, they've got a Facebook page, so we'll see if we can find them. Okay, so Drone Tie Insure, uh, that's their Facebook page, and uh, they're doing the service for me. They give you a fair idea. I'm not going to do this NBTC UAV radio control license because I'm only working on the same. Uh, frequency with the drone as what a modem uses in your home. I don't think it's necessary. And the law is amb ambigu ambiguous at the moment. No one really knows if you have to do that or not. So I'm going for the 1 million baht insurance coverage and the uh, pilot license, the drone pilot license. So all up that's going to cost me, uh, that'll cost me uh, 2,800 baht, which I'll, I'll put a description of on, on how much that is in the video. Okay, so this is what you need. The insurance plan A, PDF, they send you all the documentation and I'll show you that documentation. These are the drone docs that they sent to me. Okay. Okay, so I'll just open this up. So you've got to have your passport with your arrival and uh, uh, entry into Thailand stamp, etc., etc. You've got to have, uh, well, I had to do two because that was in my old passport. So I had to do a photocopy of my old passport and my new passport. Uh, as you can see here, there's my original visa and entry into Thailand. It fits into the thing like that. Uh, fortunately I can do it all on the computer uh, PDF so I can uh, put the image in there and sign it also on the computer. Now uh, I won't show those documents because they've got my personal data on them uh, uh, <clears throat> and I don't really want to make all of that public but you've got the UAV registration form that you've got to fill out all the data about yourself and the drone the self-declaration form, uh, the power of attorney you give to uh, drone insure to uh, make the application on your behalf for the insurance and for the uh, uh, um, drone pilot's license with CAAT. Uh, that power of attorney, 
I've filled out and sent back to them. I've sent it all to them and there's a, a little uh, uh, CA a T registration uh, spreadsheet here. It's an Excel spreadsheet. I did it with numbers and then converted it back to XLSX. Uh, so you can do it on a Mac if you don't have uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Office or anything like that. It was asking me to register and buy the product and stuff like that. So I did it in numbers and converted it back with numbers, which is the Mac equivalent uh, of uh, Excel, I guess. Yeah, so did all that, and uh, finally, yesterday, I got back the uh, email from them with the insurance document. Uh, I'll quickly scroll this. Okay, so it's got my address and everything in there, and here's the information on a Mac Mini. Uh, Mavic Mini DJI is the uh, company that makes them. It's got the serial number. Uh, it's got the, you know, this is an e-copy of the uh, of the coverage. Uh, it's a million baht for personal damage, a million baht for uh, product uh, uh, structural damage, and there's also uh, covers you a hundred baht bail if you get arrested using the drone and stuff like that so and down here you can see that cost me 1800 and uh, 1800 baht basically and they charged me a thousand baht for doing the whole process for me now the license will take some time before that comes uh, uh, that's for a year 28th of january 2021 to the 28th of january 20 Oh, it's issued on the 28th uh, 8th of January 2021. It's valid to the 28th of January 2022. Uh, yeah, so it's a Thai insurance company. Uh, <coughs> and uh, it was a, a fairly easy process doing it through those people. So uh, we'll go back to... Uh, do a Google search for uh, drone laws in Thailand again and this one comes up at the top of the list uh, you know as you can see there's plenty of others down here all information about laws and drone flights allowed in Thailand registration needed through drones brought to Thailand it's a different process if you brought the drone to Thailand as opposed to buying the drone in Thailand <coughs> That's why it's better to do it through the agent. I mean, they take care of everything. They just said, don't worry about that. I didn't have to worry about the receipt or anything like that. Okay, here's another site. We'll have a look at this one. There's plenty of them. Uh, laws and rules when flying a drone in Thailand, entering Thailand with a drone, the number of batteries you can carry uh, uh, based on uh, flights, airline laws in Thailand, the operation of drones. So there they are again, uh, you know, must not cause a nuisance to others. Well, that's so amb ambiguous, it's not funny. Must not violate the privacy rights of others. That's also ambiguous. Must not fly near other drones, aircraft, must not fly horizontally closer than 30 metres to people, vehicles, constructions or buildings. Uh, there's a link there to the full documentation about those laws. Uh, some things are lost but here's the penalties unregistered pilots can face a 100,000 baht fine that's uh, 3,200 US I assume and up to five years in prison any drone with a camera or weighing over 250 grams must be registered well my drone is under 250 grams it's 249 but it has a camera so that's specific to Thailand and, and probably some other countries, but I know that uh, in many other countries it doesn't, if a drone is under 250 grams, you don't have to register it or get the uh, license to use it. Uh, failing to do so, uh, a 40,000 baht and, and or up to a one year imprisonment if you don't have the license with the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand. So very important this, very important. 
fines for flying in restricted areas or flying dangerously be, can be given on the spot. And here's a guide for registering your drone, buying a drone in Thailand. So this, you know, Google is your friend on this matter. Uh, and I will give the details of the agent I used. So that's it for this video. I know it's a little bit long, so I'll keep this short. I want to send my thanks to uh, retired and living the dream, uh, another Thailand vlogger for uh, setting me off on this path about getting the uh, drone registration and insurance. Uh, I'll put a link to that video of his uh, under the uh, video in the information section. And uh, for now, I hope the video was in some way informative for you and uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, so if you're going to fly drones anywhere, make sure you look into the regulations because the fines are pretty hefty in most places and uh, in some places there's jail term for uh, some infringements. I'm not particularly concerned about flying the drone here in Thailand. I mean, yeah, most of the police here I don't think even know the traffic laws, let alone laws about drones. But I do live not too far from an airport and a restricted zone. so. Got to take all precautions, I guess. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like the video, and please leave comments. I'm uh, really interested in what you've got to say and uh, conversing with you. Thank you so much. Bye for now.